Good morning. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon and I live and travel full time in a converted ambulance. That's what I'm in right now. This is my bed. This is how I wake up every single day. And I'm going to show you guys what an average day in my life is actually like, including all the boring, the good, the bad, and just every single thing that I do in a day. My bed is not normally this high and close to the ceiling. It's just raised up right now because I have a dirt bike underneath. So I have to make room for that. Normally it's a little bit lower and I have actually space up here, but I kind of don't mind it. It's kind of like nice and cozy up here, but it is absolutely freezing in the ambulance right now, which is one of the problems. I just never want to get out of bed because it's so warm in the bed, but it's freezing everywhere else, elsewhere else. So I'm probably just gonna lay in bed for like five more minutes. Okay, I have to do a little bit of parkour every day to get down and and that's how I start my day. Normally I just use one of my toes and I click this button right here and that activates the diesel heater which starts pumping out some nice hot air from down there. But I didn't know if the noise of it would be annoying on camera so that's the only reason I uh, got up today with no heater. And we're camped at this beautiful spot. Let me show you these views. Wow, so luxurious and beautiful. A parking lot in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's not always amazing campgrounds on top of a mountain, but you know, that's just the reality of it. And sometimes I like waking up in little parking lots like this, cause then I have access to like every single store I could possibly need, which is kind of cool. But this morning, Starting around seven or maybe even 6.30, some douchebag with some loud car was literally just doing laps around every street near here. And it was just obnoxiously loud going on for probably an hour. So that's kind of what I woke up to. So I just like laid in bed and listened to his obnoxious car just watching TikTok videos. But I finally decided to get out of bed, so. But let's retreat to the back and make some breakfast. All right, let's get some eggs. Uh, honestly, I finished a lot of my groceries yesterday, so I don't have much. I'm gonna make like eggs and put them in a little tortilla and maybe some ketchup. Boom. And water and some juice. Let's grab pan, the lighter. You know, I was only gonna make two eggs, but I forgot to hit record the first time. So I literally remade them again just for camera. And now I'm gonna eat four eggs. I'm literally so stupid. And let's heat up a tortilla. Get another one going. Oh, that one's all messed up. Get that one going while we eat this one. This is a very boring and basic breakfast, I know. Gotta go grocery shopping. Look at this little tiny egg burrito. Wrap, taco, whatever you want it to be. Boom. There is some ketchup up on there. Simple, but delicious. Number two. This is uh, my makeshift garbage can because when it's in a smaller bag, it's a lot easier to throw away a lot of places that I go in little garbage cans instead of having one giant trash bag where I gotta go find a dumpster. Makes my life. A lot easier just having these little tiny things. Okay, threw on a hoodie because it's freezing in here, but it's time to hop in the front and drive ourselves to the gym. Okay, let's do it. It's my favorite thing about an ambulance or a van versus a truck camper or something like that or a trailer is that I can wake up, hop right in the driver's seat and never have to go outside, which is super nice. <laughs> It's actually gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass getting out whenever all the cars are this tight to me because when I pull out and the back end swings out, like the dirt bike rack, it can hit the other car. So I have to take it really like not crazy, you know, like. <laughs> Not a huge fan of Planet Fitness, but it makes the most sense for me traveling all over the place because they have like the most locations of any gym, I believe. And they're like the cheapest. Yeah, no, you gotta do what you gotta do. And some of you may be thinking, Brandon, have you even brushed your teeth today? That's kind of gross. And you absolutely are right. I did not brush my teeth. I'm gonna do that when I go to Planet Fitness. I can do it here in my sink, but it's like more of a pain. So why not just go do it at the gym when I'm gonna be in the gym? I'm gonna be working out and showering anyway. I just brush my teeth while I'm in there, you know? Knock it all out at one time. All right, 
gym is over and done with, time to go try to find something fun to do. But I have honestly no idea. One thing I'm gonna do before I do anything, is I really wanna check all the fluids on the ambulance because I have not checked them all in a while. Been going through all kinds of maintenance on this thing, so I wanna make sure everything's topped off and good to go. We got a pro master right next to us. Put all these clothes away and grab some tools. Check everything. That one is the transmission, so I need to have it running to do that. But let's check the oil. Uh, it could use like a half a quart. What about coolant is good, brake fluid good. Let's check the power steering fluid. This should be good because I just replaced the entire power steering assembly. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, I'm gonna leave that open so that I can check the transmission when I get it running. But there's one more that's a pain in the ass for me to check and you normally never have to check it. Gonna need this guy. And I'm gonna have to get underneath here. For anyone who doesn't know car things, this is the rear differential where the drive line comes in, does some magic in there, and then spins the actual axle. And a gear oil that fills up this and goes all the way through the axle to lubricate everything, including the bearings. And that one over there was leaking for a long time. I had a lot of issues with it. I replaced it a long time ago. I think it finally stopped leaking, but I still want to check this to make sure. It's always somewhere right on the side, just a little plug. <sighs> And basically, the way you know it's full is when you take this off if it starts leaking out. And it is full. If you take that out and it's not leaking, then you gotta add a little bit. So that's a relief. Very, very glad to know that my rear axle is not leaking anymore. Tighten this bad boy up. <clears throat> but that's a slight sign of relief. Sigh, sigh of relief? Sigh of, I don't know. I'm just glad that all my fluids are good. Just gotta check this transmission fluid and I just had a whole new transmission put in this thing so it better be good. Basically just want it to be getting up to running temperature and you want to check the engine when it's hot and when it's running. Let it warm up for a bit and now take it all the way out, clean it off, all the way in and let's see. Oh yeah, he's looking good. Lock it and boom. It is such a disaster in here. I have too many things like a speaker, big power station, little power stations, new tires for the e-bike, dirt bike stand, skateboard, clothes everywhere, my table that I need to flip around. It's a mess. I could have cleaned it up and made it look real nice for you guys and pretended like I'm a clean person, but this is how it really is, so. And a little post-gym snack. Just gonna have a banana with some peanut butter. It's like my favorite go-to snack because I'm always in a rush. Even though I don't really need to be. I'm always in a rush and it's just such a quick, easy snack. Look how amazing that looks. Every time before I drive, I have to remember to lock the fridge. Also, to lock this or else this door will swing open. There's another one on that cabinet or else it'll swing open. And then there's one right here because then this drawer will come flying open. And it's so annoying when I forget to do one of those because then I start driving and I hear a cabinet come swinging open and all my stuff falls out. And somehow I still forget to do it all the time. But now let's really go do something. Never been to downtown Phoenix. I've been in Phoenix for like a week now and have never actually seen downtown. I don't know any, I know nothing about it. So uh, I went on this app that I have. This is not an ad whatsoever, but it's called Spot Angels. You can just go and find anywhere that there's a green road. So I typed in downtown Phoenix. Anything that's green is free parking. So boom, get directions, Google Maps, cause I'm not a crazy person using Apple Maps. And what the, okay, that took me to Los Angeles. <laughs> What the heck? Downtown Phoenix, boom. It says free parking for up to seven plus days. That's crazy. Yes, 11 minutes, sounds much better. All right, let's go. Hey, we got a fellow red, uh, well that's a fire truck, but you know, mine kind of looks the same. A lot of people ask me if it's a fire truck. Okay, look at this sick road that I just saw on my way to downtown. How badass is that? That's so sick. I feel like such a tourist, but I've never seen a road like that. All right, step one, raise the bed. That's high enough. Step two, make the under dirt bike out of the way. And the tire. Yeah. Aha, caught it. Step three. Now it won't close on me. <laughs> Thanks, man. The guy was just like, yo, that's dope. Thank you, man. 
Go for it, yeah, for sure, man. All right. Oh boy, she's already trying to come out. Uh, get these straps on. Oh, son of a bitch. My fingernail just like folded over. That sucked. Boom. Just like that, she is out. All right, let's go for a little cruise. You can see all these spokes. At least 90% of them are just like completely loose. The whole back wheel actually moves. I kind of blew that thing out, but big shout out to eBikezilla. Um, this video is not sponsored by them, but they are sending me a new wheel. I emailed them about it and they're shipping me one out right away. So that should be here in a couple days, but we'll ride it today and see if she explodes. Got the free parking, got the bike. Let's go cruise around downtown Phoenix and hope that my back wheel does not explode. It's feeling a little bit unstable. I mean, I guess like the worst case, if I go too far, then I just got to push it all the way back. Yeah, yeah. Let's cross the street here if we can. Mm, that might actually be kind of tough. Just kidding. Got an open spot right now. Hey. I would love to climb this building because it's like half unfinished or something like that. Where to go, where to go? Looks like this car is having the same debate. Huh, this back wheel really ain't feeling so hot. <laughs> Watch out, birds! All right, let's cross here. See that sign spinner guy? I wonder how much those people get paid. I feel like definitely, no matter what it is, it's not enough to just sit there and spin a piece of cardboard all day. I mean, props to him for doing it, but. Oh, this is not even the way I wanted to go. Damn it. <laughs> ah, it works. Some sort of festival. Oh, that I'm sure there's no way they're gonna let me come in there on my bike. I'm gonna loop around and try to go on the road option. <laughs> Looks like a little art festival or something. Yeah, I don't feel like bothering everybody by trying to go in there. It goes all the way over to here. All right, well, I won't bore you guys with too much riding. I'll continue this in a moto vlog that I will post Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. So if you want to check that out, I'll be cruising all around downtown Phoenix and downtown Scottsdale because there's usually a lot of like rich people, I guess, in Scottsdale. And I just think there'd be some cool things to go see over there. So I'm going to cruise around downtown Portland and downtown Scottsdale on uh, Tuesday's video. But for now, I'll end this and we'll go back to the ambulance and uh, continue the rest of the day. All right, we're back in the ambulance now. Finished the ride. That video will be up on Tuesday. Just got to strap this baby down and get going and find out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day because I have no idea right now. Stopping at Taco Bell real quick to get a little snack and also dump some of the footage off the GoPro onto my laptop and start sorting it out for videos so it doesn't get too built up. Make my life easier. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, I just got to Scottsdale, but all of this is gonna be in Tuesday's video as well as the moto vlog from Phoenix. It's just gonna be like a whole moto vlog thing on Tuesdays. So this section I'm about to go film right now, will go there. But I'll catch you guys right after this ride and we'll go find somewhere to stay for the night. All right, new plans. Going to a Christmas party at the old place that I got certified in skydiving two years ago. Stop at a grocery store real quick, pick up some juice boxes. I don't wanna show up empty handed. I don't know if I can say that. I'll change it to like Capri Suns. I don't know how YouTube advertising works if I talk about alcohol. So we'll just say Capri Suns. But I also might as well get some tortillas while I'm here. High fiber, two net carbs. Don't even know what that means, but it's got flax seeds. Also don't really know what that means either, but sounds healthy. The Capri Sun section down there. All right, picked up these Capri Suns right here. Boom, tortillas. Juice boxes. Well, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what a normal boring day looks like for me. 
Uh, stay tuned for that moto vlog that's coming on Tuesday. Hope you guys enjoy that as well. But I'm gonna go head to this party. Got like a 30 minute drive, I think. And I'm gonna go hang out with some friends that I haven't seen in two years. And I will catch you guys in a couple days. Peace, thank you guys. Ha <laughs> ha.